Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced, Developer Advocate here at Dremio, and today I'd like to show you how quick and how easy it is to get an account started with Dremio Cloud, the forever free Lakehouse platform. That's right, forever free, meaning no software expenses, no licensing costs, just free forever. Now let's get started by clicking on this Get Started button. And here you can choose to start uh, an account either in North America or Europe. And you can also see this video with Jason Hughes, where he'll go over many of the features of Dremio Cloud's two primary services, Dremio Sonar and Dremio Arctic. But let's get started and click over here on North America. Now on this screen, what we can do is we can choose the way we wanna sign up, either through our email or using one of these single sign-on options such as Google, Microsoft, GitHub, and so forth. So I'm gonna use Google. So I'm gonna use this Google account um, and I'm gonna log in with that. So here we go, I'm gonna choose my account. I'll click right there. And um, yeah, I've, I've signed up, I'm all signed up. Now I have to start setting up my first project. So I'm just gonna keep the, the name uh, Dremio Demo, that's fine. And we'll keep the default project name, my first project. Now here we can choose which region in AWS we would like to set up our initial uh, Sonar project. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose US East 1 because that's where I'm physically located. So that will work ideal for me. Now, next we want to do is go to this advanced configuration section where we can choose sort of what is going to be the initial uh, size of the instance or our engine in our Dremio Cloud account, which will determine what kind of EC2 instances will be created in your AWS account. We could establish any kind of tags we would like to attach to this, and then we can move on and hit next. And this next screen, what's going to happen is we'll be able to start initiating the creation of all that infrastructure. And it's as easy as a button click. We can just click this launch stack button. That'll take us to cloud formation where all the infrastructure we need for our Dremio Cloud account will be created. IAM roles, EC2 instances for your engines, uh, setting up the S3 bucket to save any kind of metadata and so forth. All that stuff will be created at a snap of a finger. But if you don't have privileges to do so, you can send this link over to anyone who does at your company. You can set the data manually, but if you're just doing this for demonstration purposes, you can use your personal AWS account and just click launch stack. Now, once we click launch stack, what's gonna happen is gonna open up CloudFormation in a new tab. And here's where we're gonna be able to just like set up all our settings for creating our new stack, such as giving it a name. So I'm gonna call this AM Dremio Demo. Okay, and basically what we'll do here, we're also gonna have to choose a virtual private cloud to associate this with and a subnet. It'll automatically come up with a name for the, the S3 bucket that it'll create to, to handle this. Um, and then last thing we have to do is just check off this box, recognizing that IAM roles will be created in our account when we run this uh, cloud formation and create the stack. So we'll hit create stack. And then what's gonna happen is gonna begin creating your stack. This process will be running for a little bit. So I'm gonna pause the video, but you'll notice that when it's done, this create in progress that's currently in blue will turn green and say create complete. So just keep an eye out for that and we'll be right back. And then you'll see now it says create complete. How awesome is that? Now what's gonna happen is we're gonna go back to the tab where we're doing sign up and now we're able to actually enter email addresses of people we'd like to invite to, to our new organization. Not only that, we can also create roles to help you know, control the access of who has access to the different data we have inside of our Dremio Cloud account. Okay, role-based access control. So we'll hit next and that's gonna take us to the Dremio UI. So we'll be here in our new Dremio UI, uh, which only took a few minutes to set up. How quick, how easy was that? Um, but now that we're here, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to add some data to our account so that we can do some tests. So click right here for add sample data, which will add this sample data right here to your account. Then click on this sample.dremios.com folder. And this folder will include several sets of data that we can work with. We're gonna work specifically with the NC NYC taxi trips data, which is a folder full of parquet files. Now, in order to take this folder and turn it into a singular data set, there's this button right over here to the right that allows us to say, hey, take this folder and promote it to a data set. So I'm gonna click on that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna save the data set. So once uh, I can see the preview of the data set, I can then click save. And then this may take a few uh, a moment, um, but then we'll be able to actually access the data set once it's loaded up. Okay, 
So now the first thing we want to do is take this column that's in miles and create an alternative column that's in kilometers. And we can do that really easy using Dremio uh, by just clicking right over here on the right and then choosing calculated field. Now this will allow us to create a field based on that original miles field. We'll say, hey, all the values are multiplied by 1.6 to get an approximation of kilometers and we'll rename this field uh, to reflect kilometers. And then I'm gonna make sure that I keep the old miles field as well so that way both columns will still exist in this new alternative version of the data set. Now keep in mind, I'm not creating a, a new data set with a new column. I'm not creating new data, but instead creating a new view of the data relative to the original column. And the cool thing is if I wanna take this particular view of the data on my data lake and save it for future use, so that way I can just go directly to this view, I can go over here into the upper right corner and click save view as and save this particular view of the data uh, under a name. So we'll call it NYC taxi data. And then I'll click save. And now I can quickly access this view. I don't have to recreate that calculated field every time I wanna look at the data. And so now that we have that, okay, all loaded up, what we're gonna to wanna to do is load this data into Tableau. So while I can already load this data into Tableau uh, for blazing fast BI, but what I'd like to do is be able to get sub second query times. And the way we can do that is by using a feature called, called data reflections, very similar to like materialize views in a traditional database. What this will do is create um, representations that we don't need to manage. It'll be automatically managed to optimize our queries on this particular data set. So we can have sub second data time. So we'll head over to reflections and this will show us the different types of reflections we can have. We'll click aggregation reflections and I plan on querying the data based on pickup date time. So I want that to be the dimension that I look at. Basically, you know, what data based on the date that the rides happened. But I also want to look at particularly the passenger count by date. So I'm going to add that to the types of measures that I want to optimize for. And once I have that all set up, I can click on save and my reflection will begin getting created. And now I can actually watch this creation and process by right clicking on history and opening it up in a new tab. This will take me to a filtered view of the jobs page where I can see this specific job happening and see it so I know when it's complete and I'm ready to start running these optimized queries on my data lake. So I'm gonna pause and now that it's done, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna head on back to the tab I have where we're making the reflection. Now if I toggle between these two screens, you can see that there's now a footprint for our reflection. That means it's been done being generated, it's created, it's gonna help us optimize and speed up our queries, specifically aggregation queries based on those dimensions and measures. So I can click on the Tableau button now, and that's gonna download a TDS file. And what this TDS file will do is going to allow me to connect Dremio directly to uh, Tableau. And it's gonna open up a screen uh, of Tableau and then open up the browser so we can sign on and make establish that connection. So I'm gonna type my email uh, right in here so that way we can do our single sign-on once again. So here we go, uh, dremio.demo at gmail.com. And then I'm gonna hit continue and single sign-on once again. Okay, so we, we single sign-on. We establish that connection. I'm gonna authorize Tableau with Dremio. Okay. And then I'm gonna close that tab. And then when I open up the Tableau window, you're gonna see that I have all my data available to me. All those columns that were in my data set are now here in Tableau where I can basically create lightning fast BI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the migrated data field and move it over here into rows to get a count of all the records in the table. It's gonna take an extra second or two uh, as it establishes some cache with S3, but there it is, that was blazing fast, 340 million records here and ready to go. How awesome. Okay, so every time we run a query, it's on 340 million records. Now watch what happens when I run these aggregation queries. So we'll take a look at, okay, the passenger count, and boom, a query was just run by Dremio, and that data came back in sub-seconds. And now if I wanna look at that pickup count based on the date, I just put that there, and how quickly that update. And again, each time I make th those changes, that is a new query being sent to, to Dremio. Okay, that's how fast this is running. This is not, I mean, there's no cubes, there's no marts. You're querying the data on your data lake. So now let's take a look at it based on 
by specifically by day. And then I do that and there it goes, it's updated. How quick, how fast was that? I'm able to work with the raw data, the source of truth right there in my data lake without cubes, without marts. And we did this all within less than 10 minutes. We got this account set up and we're here looking at this blazing fast BI. Amazing. So just to show you that again, these queries were, were super, super blazing fast and accelerated by those data reflections. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head back over to the jobs page right over here. And you'll see that all those recent queries were all one second. All those queries as I was adjusting those aggregation queries. So my name is Alex Merced, developer advocate here at Dremio. Head over to dremio.com and get signed up for the forever free Lakehouse platform. Again, no software costs, no licensing costs. So just come on down, sign up. I look forward to seeing you around.